As quickly as it opened up in March, Super Nintendo World is unfortunately going to be temporarily closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic in Osaka, Japan. They're experiencing spikes and vaccine rollouts are slow, so they've had to close the park down, along with many other things as well during their lockdown. So unfortunately, it's been open, open for just over a month and it was getting rave reviews. I mean, this place looks amazing. If you haven't taken a look, you got to check it out. They're going to be building one in Orlando Universal Studios as well, but that's not happening actually till 2025 now. It was slated for earlier, but they have pushed it back due to the pandemic. I mean, it's affecting everything and it's not just now, it's obviously future projects as well. But hopefully, fingers crossed, May 11th, they have the opportunity to come out of their state of emergency. They may be able to reopen the park, but things aren't looking great as you know as it's going right now. So it's going to be a fingers crossed kind of thing. Hopefully, people are traveling from pretty far to just visit this place. So I know they want to get it open, have people kind of experience what they've built there. And it is an exciting place. The fact that we're actually going to be getting one here in North America as well is really awesome. But again, it's going to take some time for that. So hopefully, hopefully we can see some more of this place and hopefully they can get it open soon. All right, fellow vault dwellers, we have an update now available in Fallout 76, and it's a really big one. Season 4 has dropped, and it's called Locked and Loaded. And there is a lot of stuff that they've tossed in with this update. You know, Fallout 76, it had a pretty rough start. I didn't really care for the game when it launched, but maybe about a year ago, I really got hooked and dove into the story and now they're just constantly making this game better and better. So what's new in season four? We have the new scoreboard. So like a lot of other games, Fallout 76 has a battle pass that they call the scoreboard. But in this case, it is 100% completely free. There's no paid tier. It's just something that you get additionally while you're playing. So. All sorts of new loot and rewards available in this battle pass, so make sure you check that out. On top of that, there are two really big things that I think that you all should definitely know about. The first one being the option to have a second camp in the wasteland. Yes, you can finally have two on the map saved at a time. Granted, you won't be able to just have them both placed on the map at the exact same time, but the option is there to have them saved. They have a new sort of tab system, so let's just say one of your camp spots is actually preoccupied, or you're working more on the other side of the map where the other camp is, you can simply click a few buttons and then voila, your new camp is available to you. This is really great and a huge quality of life improvement. Now with lots of these looter shooters, there are of course daily and weekly rewards. So in Fallout 76's case, they had daily ops. And now it sounds like they've doubled down on them. That means you're gonna get double the rewards. There's all sorts of new mutations and creatures to hunt down. It sounds really cool. And if there's two more things that I could point out on top of everything else, cause I'm not gonna name off everything that comes in this but is the option to have mannequins now at your camp. Yep, you can finally showcase your cool armor that you've grinded out by displaying them on a nice fancy mannequin that you can have up to five of in your camp. And another big thing in this game is the market that's available. So with vending machines, there was kind of a lot of micromanaging with having multiple vending machines, built so that you could have all your items and kind of have them organized that way well they've simplified everything and basically made it all pooled together in one vending machine so you don't have to have multiple you know you don't have to waste all that extra time trying to organize everything or just trying to buy something from other people so with just these updates i've mentioned i mean i have to step back in appalachia it's actually been a hot minute since i've played so with the new season four dropping, I hope to see you guys in Appalachia. So if you've got money to burn and like the finer things in life, or the fact that you just like to buy things that's unusual and unique, 
then you'll be interested to know that on eBay, you can pick up a 24 karat gold Nintendo Wii for a cool $300,000. Now this was commissioned in 2009 by American company THQ that unfortunately went bust a few years later and it was a promotional stunt and a marketing plan due to the release of a new game called Big Game Family that was due out on Nintendo Wii. Now this console was also designed to give to Queen Elizabeth II as there was rumours that in 2007 that the, the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate, bought Prince William a Nintendo Wii for Christmas and the Queen was also partial to a few games of Wii Bowling. Well unfortunately Buckingham Palace rejected this console and no one knew what happened to it until in 2019 a reporter tracked it down that in 2017 a gentleman called Donny Fillerup purchased this console as he's a board member of GamesVariation.com. In a recent interview Donny did mention that he did not want to sell this console but he wants to move forward now and the sale from this console will go towards him buying a new house. Also it might be worth mentioning that you might want to keep some money aside because it's still not clear that once you've paid $300,000 for this console, who's going to pay for the post and packaging? 